Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning uh, Sunday the 10th of September, ending Friday the 15th. Hope you have a good trading week late. We are all focused on Hurricane Irma and everybody in Florida with best wishes out to everybody down there as this storm hits over the weekend. And uh, so everything we're talking about here for the markets, assume that, you know, obviously there's going to be some damage, but that uh, it's nothing out of the extraordinary in terms of, you know, anything that's be economically devastating. So we'll go from there. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Got a 13 buy signal 10 days ago, bounced off of the risk line of that, but now we are breaking underneath it. So we got new lows in the dollar index. Not what you like to see really, um, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go through the major pairs. We'll talk about the interweek action and then we'll get into uh, what's coming this week. So here's the Euro dollar. This one just got a 13 sell signal today. So we've got that to look forward to. Um, but again, it's mostly mirroring the dollar index in the inverse. Here's the pound dollar. No new signals there, although it is near closing highs. Aussie dollar made new highs on Friday. Pound yen mid range for the last year and very narrow range for the last year. Not even uh, 12, basically 1200 pips on that. Uh, Euro yen uh, has holding near the highs. Pound Swiss, not much there. New Zealand dollar is what it is. So. Uh, let's look at the intraweek action. Here's 30 minute candles. High to low for the week on the euro dollar is about 200, 100, 200 and uh, what is that? 220 pips, not even that. Uh, but if you look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and most of Thursday, it was barely 80 pips. So that was a really boring week until late in the week. Pound dollar, on the other hand, high to low for the week is 300 and something pips. And it picked up. We had a couple big winners on the pound. So it was a good week because of the pound. Our calls were there. It's where it needed to be for the movement we got, and we're happy. All right, let's take a look at the economic data for this next week. So let's focus on a couple of things. First of all, obviously the hurricane. Second of all, we've got triple expiration. So that will affect even currencies, which is part of futures uh, late next Friday. Uh, but between here and there, we've got some data. So Sunday, Japan, core machinery orders and M2 money stock. Monday, tertiary industry activity out of Japan, preliminary machine tool orders, Europe, Italian industrial production. Canada, Canadian housing starts, Australian business confidence Monday night. Going into Tuesday, French private payroll, China M2 money supply and new loans, Italian quarterly unemployment rate out of Europe, CPI, PPI, and RPI out of UK along with their housing price index. That's all at 4.30 a.m. Eastern time Tuesday. U.S. has got their, uh, we have no doubt on Monday, we've got the NFIB small business index, jokes, job openings, 10-year bond auction, Tuesday night, FPI, Japan's BSI Manufacturing Index, and PPI. We're already into Wednesday, not much data up to this point. German final CPI and German WPI, Swiss PPI, UK unemployment rate at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. That's a big one. European industrial production and employment change and 10-year bond auction. 10-year bond auction out of the UK. U.S. PPI at 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Crude oil inventory is an hour in. It'll be interesting to see where that is after the Florida situation. 30-year bond auction at 1 p.m. Eastern. Federal budget balance at 2 p.m. Eastern here in the U.S. Uh, we got the unemployment rate out of Australia at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time Wednesday night. Industrial production and retail sales out of China. Thursday, revised industrial production out of Japan. French CPI, Swiss LIBOR rate. UK's, uh, there's a rate announcement out of the UK at 7 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday. And then Canada's NHPI, US CPI, that's one of our big three. So we're already going to be half size still because the market has not shaped up enough, up enough yet uh, here in Forex to justify going full size post summer. And CPI, we're always half size of whatever we're doing. So it'll be less than half size ahead of that, plus the weekly unemployment claims number. Natty Gas, an hour into the market. Friday, uh, trade bounce out of Europe. Quarterly Bulletin out of the UK, retail sales out of the US, Empire State Manufacturing Index out of the US, those are at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Capacity Utilization and Industrial Production at 9.15, CB Leading Index out of the UK at 9.30, and then Preliminary University Emission and Sentiment and Business Inventories uh, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So the CPI is the big one, but again, I think it's the hurricane and obviously the triple expiration next week that's going to be the biggest impact. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week.